Today we're going to solve a geometry problem from the 2009 state team test. And the problem is this. We have a triangle with two angles, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. And the side opposite the 30 degree angle has a length 6 times the square root of 2. And we're asked to find the sum of the lengths of the other two sides. Now we're going to start with this problem the same way we always do with a wordy geometry problem. We're going to go ahead and draw a picture. We're going to draw a diagram and take all the information from the problem and put it in the diagram. So there's our triangle. We'll call this the 45 degree angle. This the 30 degree angle. And the side opposite the 30 degree angle has length 6 times the square root of 2. Now that we have our diagram, we will look at it with not so bright looks on our faces. Um, we're a little stuck. So let's, let's look for some clues. You know, maybe there's something special about the numbers in this problem. You know, well, 6 times the square root of 2, nothing special about that. But 30 degrees, 45 degrees, we've seen those angles before in geometry. We've seen 30 degrees in 30, 60, 90 triangles. We've seen 45 degrees in 45, 45, 90 triangles. So if we can find those triangles in this problem, I don't see any right tri Wait, I do see right triangles. You see them? You have to look close. All right, I'm going to make them magically appear. i got my magic wand here. I'm going to try to see some things that aren't there. Here we go. Now do you see them? We draw an altitude and we break our original triangle into a 45, 45, 90 triangle on one side and a 30, 60, 90 triangle on the other. And now we can use the facts that we know about 45, 45, 90 triangles and about 30, 60, 90 triangles to finish the problem. Now, we'll quickly review those facts so we make sure we use them right. First the 45, 45, 90 triangle. In a 45, 45, 90 triangle, these two angles are equal, so the opposite sides have the same, le same length, the legs do. And then the hypotenuse is just the leg length times the square root of 2. And in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if we take the side opposite the 30 degree angle and call that S, the hypotenuse then is twice S, and the side opposite the 60 degree angle is s times the square root of 3. All right, so now we'll take these facts and use them in this prop. What's that? You don't believe me? Oh, you don't trust me. That's different. You don't trust me. You're afraid that I'm just going to throw out these facts here and they're going to be not quite right. So then in the contest, you know, I'll teach my students, my students the actual, the right facts, and they'll do really well and you won't. You're afraid I'm going to trick you. It's an interesting idea. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. But, you know, just to make you feel better, I'm going to prove it. I'm, I'm glad you asked me to. I'm glad you asked me to. And you should take that, you know, take that back to school. Take that to your parents. You know, they're going to throw something at you like this. Ask them to prove it. But uh, when you do that, don't tell them it was my idea. But we're going to go ahead and prove these real quick. So if we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, it's, it's an isosceles triangle, so these legs have the same length. But let's see why the hypotenuse is the leg times the square root of 2. So we'll say we just call the hypotenuse S for now. And we have the legs are each x. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. We go x squared plus x squared is equal to s squared. All right, so now we add these two together. We get 2x squared, and that's s squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we'll have x times the square root of 2, and this is s. So that is why the hypotenuse is x times the square root of 2. All right, let's come over here to the 30, 60, 90 triangle and we'll start again with with s over here as the side opposite the 30 degree angle. We're going to try to figure out why the hypotenuse is double that and why the other leg is that times the square root of 3. Oh boy. It's not obvious, is it? Um, let's see. Well, up here we got through the problem by seeing something that wasn't there. At least we get a good first step. We, we saw this altitude that wasn't there. Let's see if we can see something that isn't there in tackling our 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, where have we seen those before in geometry? We've seen those in 30, 60, 90 triangles. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't help very much. But 60 degrees, we've seen those in equilateral triangles. So do you see an equilateral triangle here? I do. Here we go. So I'm seeing things that aren't there. Got the magic wand. 
break out the magic wand and make those things that aren't there appear. I extend this side, I build another 30, 60, 90 triangle. This one on the bottom is congruent to the one on top. So this piece is equal to this piece, so this is S. So this whole side of this equilateral triangle is 2S, which of course means the other sides of the equilateral triangle are 2S. Now all we have left to find is this. Well, now that I've got two of the sides here in terms of S, say I call this Z, I can just use the Pythagorean theorem. I've got S squared plus Z squared is equal to 2S, that whole thing squared. All right, so I'll just square this out, and I'll have S squared plus Z squared equals 4 times S squared. And now I can just solve for Z squared. Z squared is 4S squared minus S squared, which is just 3S squared. And then I take the square root of that, and I'll find that Z is equal to S times the square root of 3. And now I've shown that in my 30, 60, 90 triangle, the leg opposite the 60 degree angle is the square root of 3 times the leg opposite the 30 degree angle. Now I'm ready to take these facts and finish this problem. So first, the 45, 45, 90 triangle. The hypotenuse is 6 times the square root of 2, so the legs both have to be 6. This leg is 6, this leg is 6. Now I move over to the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I've got the leg opposite the 30 degree angle is 6. So over here, S would be 6. So then the side opposite the 60 degree angle would be 6 times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse of this 30, 60, 90 triangle is double the leg opposite the 30 degree angle, which means it's 12. And then we go back and check. The original problem asked for the sum of the lengths of the other two sides, which gives us 6 and 12 is 18 plus 6 times the square root of 3 as our final answer. Now we tackled this problem with two key strategies. And the first of these strategies is, is to take a hard problem that we didn't know how to do and split it into two easier problems that we do know how to do. And wouldn't it be great if we could solve all our problems that way? And the second strategy is a very key geometry strategy. And we used it a couple times. And that is seeing things that aren't there. And every great geometer, every great geometer, is excellent at seeing things that aren't there. And when you get good at this skill, when you can really see things that aren't there, it's probably best not to talk too much about it.